Here we have my newly rehoused B. albopolosum, who's just in a mini critter keeper. Just want to just uh, give you this quick update. Piece of a plastic cup there with some moss on top, so the overflow of the water dish, and a uh, little water dish, of course, bottle cap. And there the goofball is. So it looks pretty happy in here. Doing very well. Just want to show off this goofball for you too. And is looking absolutely amazing. Alrighty, here is the enclosure of my uh, P species Ecuador, Pompavitus Ecuador. Just got some fake uh, foliage there on top. And then that is actually half of a cup. There's this goofball's in there. And a bottom end of a cup is a big water dish. I've got to spray this down again. But it seems to be doing uh, well in this enclosure. Uh, this is a suspect male. This one pretty much exploded. Doubled in size easily. So there he or she is. But other than that, doing very well. And uh, is loving uh, this new enclosure. Alright, here last up is my Peak and Saturdays. Let's see if we can get a somewhat decent view of this goofball. This is also a suspect male. There we go. But yeah, she's been doing very well. Eats like a piggy and is looking lovely. Definitely need to fatten her up a little bit. Just want to get a uh, nice shot of my P camera jai here. See if we can uh, get a uh, size over here. Hold on one second. All right. Kind of hard to tell, but sorry, it's not the best view. I'm trying to do this here and do three things at once here. Diagonal lean, uh, leg span, excuse me, is just under six inches. Which is pretty ridiculous. One of my favorite arboreals. Alright, this is uh, Stella. My Euthala species red. My princess, number one. Oh, I absolutely love and adore. Sophia is down in her little cave. She's always in her cave. So, let's see, I can try to get the best view for you guys. Sorry, it's not any better. She's always in her cave. Sometimes she comes out, but pretty much 99% of the time she's just chilling down there waiting for food. Here, here is my big old girl, Zoe. E. Campus Stratus. She is uh, five and a half inches easily. She comes out every night. There's her in her little enclosure, cave, and a uh, little uh, fake plant right there in water dish. But yeah, she comes up pretty much every night, which is nice. Because there were times before where I'd see her hardly ever unless I peek the camera and the light inside her cave. But she comes up pretty much every night now. That is Gracie, my G. Pokra. Who was definitely uh, one of my most active tarantulas, but has now been uh, taken over here by this goofball right here, my GBB. who is 100% the most active tarantula. It's always doing something. 99% sure male E. Bomi, who comes out just about every night. Oh, hold on, actually. My mistake, my mistake. He's right out there. He usually comes out every night. My always lazy, doesn't do anything ever. Uh, Peace Gopra. <laughs> Let's see here, there's Lucy, the LP. It's a big old freaking booty. And let's see, what is that? I think it's yes, well over six, six and a half inches. Here is my Agent Colada, who's up there with my G Poker and my GBB, is uh, I would say third as far as uh, active. He's usually out at night doing something. Searching for food usually. Right there is my P 
P. regalis. Suspect male. It's kind of funny, actually. I'm actually suspecting my regalis. My bara. Holy crap, that's a crappy view. And my rufalata, which is hiding somewhere behind her log, or males. And I'm pretty sure that my only female pokey is my P. metallica, so um, we'll see. There's my Pepebetus species Ecuador in her new enclosure. She's loving it. She just chills right there and then goes back in her cave anytime I mess with her. Excuse me about what I said earlier. This goofball is just as active as the other one. This goofball is doing a hang ten here on her top of her enclosure. Probably not going to be able to see it. There she is. That's my peak and